least they get something out of it, huh? Field goal is up and good. And Vegas really needed that. They may have to call timeout. Ian Howfield, ball spotted at the 11-yard line. Long field goal attempt forthcoming. Howfield's kick is up. It's got a chance. It is good. 48-yard field goal for Ian Howfield. And it is 21-13. Look at that, 48 yards, no problem. He also holds the record at 61 yards against Miami this year. Just last week made a 54-yard field goal. Ian Howfield has the Hollitzer oh, he's with a, a foot attached. He, he's a stud. At a University of Tennessee, six years in the NFL. This is a guy that nothing's going to phase him, and he's got a strong leg. Played with the Finns, the Broncos, Seahawks, Oilers, Eagles, and Buccaneers. And there it is again. Into the net. Jay Cox handles it easily. He comes right up to center of the field. Big hole moves to the outside. Now he's just got Hopfield to try to beat. Has to hold up. Great return all the way back to the 10-yard line. And right away looking for the ref to say, hey, he left the box. Tenth interception thrown this year by Warner. It results in seven points and turns our football game into a one-point game. Got in Kurt Warner's face on one play, and then the next play he throws a costly interception. Nate Burchett takes it into the end zone. 21-20, Oldfield puts it into play. For Jay Cox again, though, that kick is so strong, it goes over the net. It'll come back to the five-yard line. Well, that's control right there. If you can kick it over the net, automatically the worst field position you can get. Halfield just put a piece of tape down. I like that. That's the old style. Halfield put a piece of tape. There it is, in between the 20, excuse me, the... 17 and 18 yard line, that's where he wants the ball spotted. Howfield has already kicked two field goals in our contest from 29 yards out and then a 48 yard field goal. He missed from 40, 43, and 47 last week. 40 yard field goal attempt. It's good. Ian Howfield has turned out to be the story of this first half for the Las Vegas Sting. Three field goals off the right leg of Howfield, and Vegas goes into the locker room with the lead, 23-21. Don't ever make the break on the ball like that unless you're going to get a piece of it. 35-yard touchdown reception for Daryl Tillman. Outfield should feel like this point after is very easy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's easy with those goal calls. All right, he didn't, I didn't jinx him. <laughs> he gets the point after. Vegas comes out and holds that momentum that they gained at the end of the first half. They now lead by eight. Sam Hernandez, offensive defensive lineman generally, in the fullback position, gets the touchdown. <laughs> and now big Ian Howfield will try the point after. And that man said, you know what, I fumbled the football before a couple of times. This one is mine, baby. And I'm going up like Roger Cray used to. I'm going up like all the great running backs in the NFL did because, you know what, right now, I'm a great running back. <laughs> hey, I've seen him do this stuff. It looks easy, man. Let's go, right? That's right. 6'3", 250 from Sonoma State. His natural vertical leaps about a, a dollar Number bill underneath his shoes. Three yard penalty. Retry the PAT. Now that's that's kind of it. They've got a three yard penalty here. It's not the further back you go in this game because of the crossbars. Remember, 15 feet above the field, only nine feet between the pipes. It is not a gimme. Well, Hernandez gets the touchdown, but Scooter Melander completed his last 11 passes, no misses here in the second half. Big night for Melander. The old kick is up and it is good. And it is now again a good lead for Sam Hernandez. Tonight they'll credit the Vegas defense. They've disguised coverages. They've played hard-nosed football and they've frustrated Willis Jaycox and his teammates. I think the key is what you said at the end. They're a very frustrated offensive football team. Right now. Old field. 
a right leg of his into the football again. Picked up by Carlos James. He handed it back to the little man, trying to push it to a 13-point lead. Ian Howfield. Going to be about a 25-yard field goal attempt. He's three for three on the night. Make it four for four. Automatic Ian Howfield has been as much a story tonight with his four field goals as Burchett is with his three interceptions.